Amen. So we are talking about the apostolos. And we're like apostolos. The song. Kosha. When it starts. Hey Tom. What does it say, Mrs. Mm. Will you be singing, chanting for the rest of eternity? There is another verse that says there will be crying, gashing of teeth. There is a part that we don't sing. But people will be cast out. Jesus will, I don't know you. Who are you? I don't know you. I've been doing this and this. He said, you, you are visiting church. You have no footprint. Yeah. You have no one. Where the village where my wife comes from, they have a down skull. Down skull. They have a skull. Banale skull. Is it a monkey or a human being? They say it's a, it's a skull of a human being. Yeah. So that, that skull has left the footprint that there were people before, before all others arrived. One of the things I read, I, I, anthropology. anthropology. I read, I read. The story of dead people. Yeah. Everybody wants to claim the dead. Uh, we are told that the, par- the pyramids were, were not built by architects. Is it true? Isn't it? Eh? How can it be in Africa and no building? Africa. Africa you know, in Zimbabwe, I've been to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. They have what they call the Great Zimbabwe. We must go to Great Zimbabwe. Beautiful city. Yeah. Ancient town, ancient city. They said it was built by Chinese. We have Mapungube. They found a rhino, rhinoceros. A gold rhinoceros. A gold. Rhinoceros that is plated in gold. Somewhere in Venda. They say, I mean, it's held by Takis. Takis here, you can go to Takis. And they have hid it for years. Because they can't believe black people can do this. Things. Is it true? Can you imagine? When we arrive in heaven. You think you didn't do much. And you suddenly discover that the whole of heaven is linked with your genealogy. The people that you shared, you shared to one person, but the person shared to everybody. Eh? Yeah, I was saying to somebody, they they can write whatever history they want to write. But history never lies. It keeps mysteries. It keeps what? All the statues of Egypt, they've, they've cut their nose. You know why? Because they have flat nose. What do you think? Eh? Oh, you don't, you don't read. I can feel, I can feel that. You don't want me to go there. I'm saying, all the statues of Egypt, they have no nose. Because some body fell like this nose will show that these are people of African descent. So let's knock their, their noses so that we can't see. Oh, you say the song says what? We will be, we'll be what? How can you sing chant and, and sing the rest of eternity when you have no fruit? I mean, we'll be, we'll be appearing before Jesus. I mean, I said, I said, if they say I'm not the apostle, I, I'm, 
following the ways of Apostle Paul. If they say I'm not an apostle, you are the sign of my apostleship. I'm like Jacob. When I left, I left with a stock and a blessing. Do you understand? Now, when you meet him, what are you going to say? Now, glory. I was working. I never ever came. We were working. Besi seven. Okay, Kumal. Give one to Kumal or something. He's supposed to be an interpreter. Besi seven. We were working. Eh, Kumal. Ugupi. When he seven, I mean, I was working day and night. Day and night, I was just looking. If suku na mi, busi one mi ne. If suku na mi. Eh? Do you understand? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. You are deceived. You are fully deceived. They've cut your noise. You can't smell anymore. You have become a slave. You are fully colonized. Hey, look at you. Hey. Oh, I'm sending you, Brando. I'm not talking about you. Oh, Leave me alone. <laughs> huh? They know themselves. Huh? Tell your neighbor, look at you. You are fully colonized. Hey. You are fully what? Colonized. Oh, we are talking about apostleship. Now, we are talking in the morning that the greatest, the greatest gift, the best gift, teaching, if you can't teach, you have no nose. Because a prophet, a prophet is a prophet by teaching. And the prophet must have discernment. You have discernment. Or Liringa spirit. One So since you don't want to be a prophet, you will have, prophet. if you can't teach, you have no nose. You are like the statues of Egypt. Nobody can claim. They say, look at them. But now we are finding bodies that are showing that these people were never what they said they were. Their statues were covered by gold with a flat nose. Clearly shows who built because their remains are found in the pyramids. Now, the question is, you say the song says, will be what? Will be dancing. Will be singing, dancing, and chanting. You can't chant. You will have nothing to show. This young woman has a crown on the head. When I will be Kalkop, you'll be like me. When people were patient teaching, you didn't develop. Let's go there. Let's, we'll come back here. Let's go, let's go back to our verse. When you will be, you'll be, you'll not have discernment. First Corinthians 14. Verse 3. It says, I wish all of you were prophets. So I'm teaching you to be a prophet today. And by tomorrow we are prophesying. Uh, Verse 3. Tell your your neighbor. Where is your nose? You can't teach. So you will not have discernment. 1 Corinthians 14. Verse 3. Verse 
Is it my verse? Uh, the translation, what translation is this? Edification, exhortation, comfort. Yes. This is the real King James. It says, but he that prophesieth, you are prophet, speaketh unto men. Do you see it? Huh? What does he do? Udia. Speak it unto men. He who prophesied. Change the translation because but then it's not just sick. <laughs> Before they say we didn't know. Can we read it together? One to go. But he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort men. Hallelujah. Lord, can you tell your neighbor I have a nose? I have a spirit of discernment. Edification, exhortation, and comfort. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are things that last week, I think, when Reverend Mesh came with, was it Ndate Mashab? We're teaching on the shepherds on the components of the altar. How do you build a teaching, a strong teaching ministry? You see, you cannot, you cannot be a prophet. You cannot be a great teacher who depends on UNISA material. You see, there is a commentaries. The difference between me and the commentary, me, I'm led by the spirit. When that young girl who sings the song, uh, what is, the, what is the song? Rila Lakimoy. Eh? Yes, let's sing the song. Oh, the whole team must come. It's fine since you are here. I just wanted one person. You have a flat nose. You can't be a prophet. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, you have, I can see, you, you have no nose. No nose prophet. Tell them, no nose prophet. Are you the statue of Egypt? Ask them, are you the statue of Egypt? Oh, yeah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Now, you cannot be a very powerful apostolic leader or the one that is sent if you are not spiritual. We can send you notes. You can preach the notes. Yeah, you can stand. Some of you are not they sent me notes. So let me read the notes. Then from here, the Spirit will lead me. I have, I have another teaching that the anointing is borrowed. There's no self generated anointing, it doesn't exist. It doesn't. Anointing. Oh. You are blessed if you get it. Some people never work for it. It just comes. You know. Hey, others. Baba. Because they despised it. You have to work for it. Imagine somebody. Huh? Even the sons of the prophets, they know. They said to Elisha, I am aware that your master is living today. Were they not prophets? They had knows. The sons of the prophet, they, what? Prophet. Yes. they could descend that today for the anointing. So the guys are staying too close. Now we are looking at it. How do you develop this gift? How do you do what? The Bible says those who are led by the Spirit. These are what? Bakini. Those who are led by the Spirit, these Baba are what? Sons of Ki God. Tell your neighbor, sharpen your notes. E get a pex. Tell them, get a pex. Pex. Yeah, pex your nose. O pex Be sharp nosed. Yeah. You, you must speak, you must love the things of the Spirit. If we start now and say, let us pray. pray. Jesus said, my house. Will be what? I also pray. How so can, can you, you be a dry shepherd? A dry, 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 dry shepherd. Like Kalahari Desert. Kalahari Desert. Uh, you are dry. Uh, Kalahari prophet. Hey, prophet Kalahari. Eh? Let me be fair. I'm going to run through this so that I get into my message. So that we are on the same. The confidence of the altar. This is what you need to do. If you are going to be powerful. Yeah. Number one. You must have a revelation. There are a lot of people who do the work but they have no revelation. When you have a nose. You pick things that others can pick. You change your direction when others are still on it. Yeah. You become a trailblazer. Everybody follows you. Imagine somebody. I told you a story. I said, when last did you see uh, us invite you? A singer in the church. Do you remember? She's 10, 15 years old. We are sober. Tell your neighbor, our nose, our nose are working. Yeah, we don't have a crowd by. I got a card. The guy, the guy gave me a card. He's a singer. He's a very good singer. He said, oh, when you are doing conference, my other name is Crowd Puller and he's written it on the card. Hey, I said, you have met a pet nose prophet. Sharp nose prophet. I don't wear... 
no crowd pulling. What if they used to spend hundreds of thousands? One day you'll get a revelation how much it costs just to hold it. Yeah. One day, I tell you, I see your one day they way. will know when we are coming. And we tell you we are coming. Hey. Hey. And then they say, and they say, Barry. the hotel, hotel, the car, what are the people going to eat? You'll understand when you say people pay 50 rand, let them pay 50 rand for their lunch. The, the, the meeting is free. Meeting is free. The meeting is what? Somebody says the gospel is free. Truth be told, it's not free. It's not? Uh, Fred Price. Who knows Fred Price? Fred Price. Fred Price. May he still rest in peace. He said, I will not listen to a fake pastor. Uh, huh? Oh, you're talking about fathers. This is a well, father. Get that. You get it? Okay, let's not go to Fred Price. Let's I'm leave Fred Price alone. Price. I see you are changing your face already. You have no revelation. You have no revelation. I said you have no revelation. So when you don't have revelation, everything goes with you. Are John and Jay. Yes, I agree. Now you are not a prophet. We are now a prophet. We are John. We are John. Hey, where's the day? One night stand. You are doing one night stand. Oh, sorry, please, yeah, morning after. You have a morning after feel. That, they told me a story. That they had a man. In the church. I give him a story. I give him a man. I give him a brother. I give him a story. So Bishop called him, another bishop. And so he had this dory like this. You know, after he, he took the head off his head. And then he started to spin it like, as you know, dory. And as he was spinning, talking to Bishop. Condom. Hey. The youth pastor, the youth pastor. The youth pastor. As he was doing this, Kotopo. Kotopo. Eh? Yeah, it fell. You have no revelation. Oh, Bishop Asiaka. Bishop is not mine. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Bishop, Bishop said. Bishop Ar. There were two. Bishop <laughs> said. Bishop Ar. We are two. So, Kiakana. Is it mine? <laughs> That's why you can't be a prophet. Your level of sacrifice is too low. Huh? Regardez de chercher des condoms pour regarder les grèves. Si nous disons condoms, nous allons trouver. Retoma guy. Where do we start? Ah, retoma guy. Where should we start? The wala tili di beke tabu mbe arubule. The wala tili di beke tabu mbe. Let's see. What did they say? Worship team. Worship team. What a worship team. Oh, they say we start with worship team. What a worship team. 
Ah, uh, this is a different worship team. Ah, worship team gave up a name. They say, they say, you'll hear, you'll hear a person say, Ah, the goal is to let's get high. Ah, the school they've closed. I'm going home. And we look jolla. They are going to a jolla there. They have no revelation. Imagine somebody. If God is going to, you have to have a revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. You must have one. The book of, of Genesis 12, 7. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, To your descendant, I'll give you this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when you have no revelation, you cannot build anything for God. Listen, we are a You are a pastor. So, we are not a please. We are thinking about prayer. If you are not a prayerful person, forget. Amen. Prayer is not for the food we are about to receive. I had, I had an elder who left <inaudible> our church <inaudible> and uh, joined another church. <inaudible> when we met after <inaudible> a long time, <inaudible> he says, I miss, I miss home. <inaudible> Where I'm at now. <inaudible> People get married. <inaudible> Where I am now. We pray for one hour from six to seven. I hope I listen to the Mangaud. This one is born in Mangaud. Hey, Pastor Temba. Pastor Temba. One hour. At one hour. We teach on prayer. And five to seven. Five to seven. <laughs> five to seven. Let's pray. Everybody stand up. Let's pray. And then they pray for 60 seconds to one minute. 60 seconds. Huh? And then they say they prayed. But I, but I preach. Hey. So he says the only thing I miss. The reason why you don't you have no revelation of what God wants to give to you. Yeah. You will have to work. You are deceived. Yeah, you are deceived. fully deceived. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling and what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the sense. When you have no revelation of the inheritance, you are going to play church. Revelation. How much of prayer? This is why you have no note. You are the statue of Pharaoh in Egypt. I don't have a nose. Yeah, you are Kalahari Desert prophet. Dry. Yeah. I told one guy, there's a lot of things I don't have. But one thing I have. Me. I have discernment. Oh, discernment. What? It's a, it's a gift. I have it. Discernment. Yeah. It's a wisdom that comes through prayer. Yeah, it's a divine wisdom. Far above, superior. Women, was somebody was criticizing me with this uh, theological doctrine? I said, you, say, you know a lot, I know less. But there is some things that I know a lot you don't know nothing about. I say, in the spirit, you are nowhere. I don't find you. Can you be found in the spirit? This building, I saw it in my spirit. I can tell you exactly where I was when I was praying. I remember exactly. I was Flipping on a sponge. Praying. And I saw it. When you, you can't see nothing. Yeah? Discernment. 
the joy of prayer. You see, when you have a revelation, all all things, things, all things become a stepping stone to where you're going. Hey. Are you are going. Hey. You are going to come into this. I get oh, you. Looking at me. Yes. Number two. You must know that there are promises. I think so I'm too long. There are promises. You cannot pray unless you understand that there are promises. This is why I say the song we are singing. We'll be singing, we'll be dancing. When I appear before Jesus, I'll be singing. I think I'll have my keyboard player and I'll be singing. Keyboard player. Are we not preaching together? Oh, there is a benefit. There is what? Okay, let's 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 get into our notes. There must be a, a the promises. Genesis twelve, verse two, three. It says, "I will make you a great nation." Don't be jealous. I am a great nation already. Yeah, I am a great nation. Yeah. I am what? Great nation. What are you? When are we? When you? You must make the decision. Don't do this. Promise. It's my promise. I've told the young pastors. I said, I wish I was your age. Because it's a matter of time. Yeah. Investment. People don't want to put time. But when I go there now, the church Greg. cannot grow without yes, prayer. Until it happens, yeah. you must be a prayerful person. So there are promises, and he said, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you and if you are the families of the earth I am driving you somewhere so that you are coming in. Number three, you have to understand that there is a covenant. You cannot be a great minister of the we have no covenant. I told somebody, I said, money has never been my problem. And money will never be my problem. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I was blessed being there young. Yeah. 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 I met the Lord in 1994. I had money for Lobola. You know, some people at my age, the age I was, they, they didn't have money for Lobola. Oh, Lobola, women are expensive. Hey! These nice, pretty faces. They are not free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brothers, I feel for you. Your prayers must be deep. Because here, there's no mastalisa. There's no fat and set. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now we are real men. We save the money. Uh, our current generation, they are nice. The sister says, marry me. And then they say, go, uh, we'll go to capital. <laughs> then then we'll we'll we are married. <laughs> First Corinthians, uh, Genesis 15, 18. Genesis. And it came to pass when the sun went down and it was dark that behold there appeared a smoking oven and a burning torch that passed between those pieces. On the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham saying to your descendant I have given this land. Now, when we say you enter into a covenant, you give yourself to God. Your strength, your power, all that you have. I've seen people who are in the ministry and they don't want to spend anything of their money. You will not have a ministry. This thing must first eat you. Can you tell your neighbor it must first eat you? 
Oh. Yes, matupa. Asingaton. Eh pasa mes. Asingaton. Yeah, it's in stats. Eri jilo en tats. Eh we. Eh? Guru, horo berikile. When the wet. The first batch of the check you pay by uniform. You pay for the university and pay for this. Take people do this. And then when they finish about roa be basama. They pay insult when they leave. They insult you. They've stayed in your house. First time by just cheese in a French balloon. The first time they ate cheese and polony. Huh? First time they sleep on sheets. The modern people are poor. I saw them in Lakai. Poor people are like a juvenile sheep. Poor. Then good girl, let me come to bed. Even if you look at me, eh? Poor people are like a juvenile. You sleep like a juvenile. What do you think? Covenant. If you are not willing to pay, forget it. There is a sacrifice. God will take you out of your comfort. To be, to have discernment. Otherwise, you will be a statue of Egypt. No nose. No nose prophet. You have paid nothing. Number four. There are tokens and sacrifices. Genesis 15 verse 9. Every week, every month. Some of you are saying, don't you, get, don't you get tired to lead prayer seven days a week? It's forcing me to, to have a sharp nose. Huh? You have what? Let us pray. You must listen to my prayers. I go to scriptures. I don't do That's why your nose is flat. No, you need the spirit. But without the scriptures, okay, and tell them all. First Corinthians 14, verse 12, I think 12, 13, 14. Paul says, what will I do? I'll pray in the spirit and I'll pray in my understanding. Yeah. When you no understanding, no edification, no exhortation, no comfort. So you can have a discernment. Discernment is through the scriptures. Uh, even so, since you are zealous for spiritual gifts, let it be for edification of the church that you seek to excel. Verse 13. Therefore, let, though, let him who speaks in a time pray that he may interpret. When you have let nose, you can interpret. interpret. Okay, next verse, please. You are the statue of. of yeah. You must understand the spiritual implication See? of your robe. Knocking all the nose, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Egypt. It's jealousy. For if I pray in a time. My spirit prays, but my understanding is a Verse 15. What 
is the conclusion. I'll pray with the Spirit and I'll also pray in the understanding. You can pray simultaneously. Simultaneously. You can pray there. If you want anointing, when I touch, you must pray simultaneously. He said, when I pray in tongues, my mind is unfruitful. What will I do then? I will pray in the spirit. But when I finish, when I'm praying at the same time, I'm engaging a, uh, the, the verse and chapter. Hey, there's no amen. Mm. So there must be sacrifices every week. You know, we've been teaching on Thanksgiving conference for oh, how many years now? 26 years. And I think this was that. Hey, me. I think. Yes, I was saying to one pastor, I said, I'm on generation five. Generation five of leaders. Generation five. Pastor Michael and the gang. Yeah. The number one. Have you seen? Number one. What did you call it? Formula one. Grand Prix. Grand Prix. F1. Eh? F1. F1. Hey, I'm telling you, those guys, hey. they drive, eh? <laughs> the way they overtake, I said, this is my church. This is my people. <laughs> when they come to the camp, <laughs> you think the guy is slowing <laughs> down. No, 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 no. He's charging the guy. The slide of margins. You know slide of margins. Hey, the guy crosses. I say, hey, it was two times. That's spiritual word. Often. Mm. If you can't come to tight spots, Focus. You did tight uh, spots. It. These two, they are enjoying it. I'm sure they are prayers are finished. It's a they have entered another dimension. It's, it's true. true. They have entered another. The people who come to church, people but don't know. But you, you hold them by prayer. Like this. You, every time I think about a person and I call them, we have not been in church for a long time. Sunday, I'll find them in church. Yes. I'll think about somebody and I'll pray. Oh, you'll be shocked. Some others they will shock you. Yeah, they will say, I don't know. I didn't want to come. Then I knew my bread prayer. Formula One. Formula One. Change the gas. When everybody's asleep. Come on, Tokens. Token. Token. Yeah. I'm on my belly praying. Like you're up. Walking. Bare feet. Come on. F1. F1. Margins. Hey. Small, oh, small oh, margins. Hey. The city belongs to the highest bidder. Hey. Everybody's. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Everybody's asleep. Huh? Everybody's what? Have you seen Formula One? Formula One. Thomas, go and watch it. How they overtake? Just look when they overtake and then put yourself there. Okay, and say, I'm fighting devils. I'm fighting demons. I'm, I'm supposed to pass here. Hey. Hey. Oh, you haven't seen a thing. I like those guys. They like speed. God likes speed. That's what I was saying to them. You are young. Think about when you are my age. You'll see when we go to Mukopan, you'll see. When we are going to Mukopan. Hey. Kata, 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 kata. Formula One. Formula One. One pastor was asking. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know. We don't sleep. Somebody was asking, when, when do you sleep? Kabu mm -hmm. one Rumela the text message. Kabu four, you are leading prayer. 
I'm giving you a secret. <laughs> Formula. Formula one. If you are going to win, dress up for the occasion. Yeah. You can't run with your foot gear. You take off clothes. Even the, 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 the dresses they put on, the pants, the small pants they put on, they are so light. No weight. Where now? You. No tokens. I want tokens. If we were to take an offering now. Then got to get money, Lord. Yes. Prince said the fifty rand. No, we just the fifty rand. We eat your fifty rand. You just ate your fifty rand now. We just ate fifty rand. The way you are weak, you are even sleeping. Should you rob a life? You are weak. Listen, I told my money. I told my man, I you work did, for you. You are very good. You are my money. I can pass KFC, McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's Nando's, Nando's, and tell myself, like put, nothing through mouth. Did you hear? Nothing. I wanna, no eating. I wanna use. My first prayer and fasting. If I have a sharp nose. Three days. Dry fast. Yeah, dry fast. No water. Yes, no liquid. Yes, no no eating. Worst of it, I was cooking. Of it, I'm able, even like a beer. It was my week of cooking. I was cooking without pouring salt. Yeah, I didn't taste anything. When, I, when you are fasting and you are when cooking, you, you taste the, the food. food. <laughs> you take that piece of meat. <laughs> yeah. My first, my first baptism into prayer. No water, no eating for three days. Cooking. I dished out like I'm, you know. I had brothers, so brothers. They like eating. But I have to dish. My mother must see my plate. So I dish for everybody. Then I, we go to where we sit to eat. Then I'll leave my food for some time. Say, hey. I hope I told you. you know how it works. You can share. You'll lick the whole plate. When my mother sees my plate, they are thinking we have eaten. What somebody? Tokens, what? Tokens. Yes. What what offering have you ever given that the Spirit led you to give? Hey. Well, now you are led to give 50 rand. 50 rand is the biggest money. Yes. Tokens, what? They speak, Elliot. Your sacrifices. Acts chapter 10, verse 4. It says your prayers. Your prayers. Your prayers. Your prayers. Your tokens. Your tokens. And your sacrifices. Oh, they will speak. And they will come. Acts Esther chapter 6. What good have been done for Mordecai the Jew? Your offerings. Your sacrifices. There it is. Acts chapter 6. It says your prayers and your offerings has come before God. Where now you have never moved heaven. Your offering, you can't even remember it. Can you imagine? It's like the lunch you ate yesterday. Or on Monday. You can't even remember what you ate. What do you think? I want the Holy Spirit to touch you. You are the one to touch the Spirit. Tokens and sacrifices. Oh, I have not started to preach. I'm trying to get you into the motion. My message is there. We are teaching on apostolos. We are talking about entering into the dimension. That will give you life. 
Eh, Matthew. You can't have a full belly. That you come and lead the church. Ah, it's not possible. A full belly. Look at your wife. How fair, how fair. English breakfast. <laughs> Sunday going to church. How fair English breakfast. That's one time from. Yeah, your nose is flat. The wishes are in the church. Hmm? You are the one receiving the offering. Number five and the last one on this. Then we get into the teaching. You must be a, you must make up your mind. So I am a priest. We said number one. You must have a revelation. Number two. You must understand there are promises. God doesn't only save you, but He saves everybody. Your family. He says, I'll make you a great nation. Number three, covenant. You must enter into a covenant. You say this ring I have. Shows I'm in a covenant of marriage. Yeah. Mm. I've been married for 34 years. I have not slept with another woman. Hey. Hey. You talk too much about this thing. If I was you, I would not talk about it. Oh. Uh. Hallelujah. Then we say tokens and sacrifices. If there are no sacrifices, you are not a tithe payer. Forget it. There are tokens. There are what? There are things that are demanded for prayer to work. I was saying to somebody, you have to do all things. All. 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 When you are the pastor, when, when, when I was a pastor, when I started, I will come in the morning, open, open the place we were renting, clean, clean the place. When I finish cleaning, go and pick up the people. Everybody who came to church, can you imagine? And after church, I have to take them. Hey. Hey. The instrument stayed by my house. Instrument Yes. Hey. I had to come set the instrument. When I finish setting, go and pick up the people. When now now you are a pastor. You now umurut. You just want to come to the people. I had a pastor who said to me, I don't want anything. <laughs> if I can just preach. No cell. I don't want cell. Tell your neighbor, I don't want cell. You are not serious. Tell your neighbor, you are flat nose. Look at you, flat nose. Flat nose. Tell them, flat nose. Flat nose. Statue of Egypt. When I was stage I repeat. No discernment. Huh? Oh, we must use your house. Yeah, read the fete di bankate. But finish the to 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 you don't know what I'm talking about. You have not paid your sacrifice. Yeah. They finish, they finish your grocery. grocery. Huh? Hey, Yeah. I have fed it. You finished your house. They don't know. Eh? I'm sure they're SLS and all. 
What kind of a pastor? You are not moved. No compassion. You don't even feel for God. You can come to a meeting and never give an offering. You are not a serious prayer. This is why your prayers are not answered. Last one, priest. Hebrews chapter 7. Verse 21. Hallelujah. It says the altar, altar. is built through the souls of men. Is carried on the soldiers of men. Yes. The altar. The altar. Can I tell you why you are not able to do much? Second Corinthians. Chapter 5. Verse 3. We are talking about being an apostolic leader. Having thanksgiving in your heart. We You don't wait for the day. You see, when the day you think about it, it's too late. Huh? It must be a permanent stay. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 10. Verse This bet. Can we read together? Want to go? For so though, though we walk, walk in okay, the before, let's stand. Let's stand. I, I, I can, can see that our yeah, blood knows is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we read? For though, though we, we walk, walk in the flesh, we do, do not, not walk, walk according, according to, to the flesh. flesh. For the weapons the of, of our warfare are, are not carnal, but, but mighty in God. For pulling down strongholds. For pulling down what? 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 Strongholds. Strongholds. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Hey. Bring every thought. Okay, let's go to the book of Luke chapter 4. Luke. Let's talk about us. Please, take your seat. I can see you. Mark chapter 4, the sower sowed the word. Let's read from verse 13. I want to show you some of the hindrances and strongholds. Uh, it says, and he said to them, do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand the, all, all the parables? The so was so is the word. And these are the ones by the wayside. Can we read together one to go? And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word. Now let's stand there. Satan. Satan does what? Satan Udiang. Huh? Satan comes immediately and takes away the weight that was sown by the wayside. Tell your neighbor by the wayside. Yes. Whatever that is being said, you oppose it. So the word is preached and it comes in. You reject it. Then Satan comes Satan and takes it. Number two. Amen. Verse, yes. And then this likewise are the ones sown on a 
stony ground. It's a stronghold. Uh, when they hear the word, immediately they receive it with joy. Have you heard a, a believer like this? Huh? Who received the word of God with joy? Hey. Very happy. But the Bible says they have no root. I was saying, I was saying during prayer, these are the ones we need to transplant. We need to support. We need to be there for them. Because tomato, you can transplant it. All the fruit trees, you can transplant them. So these ones, if we are sure, they are fallen. You see, the rocky place might be Hujola, is jolling environment, drinking environment, addiction environment. All those environments will make you to draw back. If you are having a boyfriend, you will backslide. It's you will backslide. You know, not fair. I see you don't like it. You are I said if you have a boyfriend, boyfriend. it's just a matter you of time. Know. The spirit of condemnation you will come. come. And you feel like I'm not worth it to come to church. You'll come to a plan that everybody can see me, but nobody can see you. It's only you who sees yourself and you judge yourself harshly. Huh? Uh, the Bible says, and they have no root in themselves, so they endure only for a time. Afterwards, when tribulation, persecution arises for, for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. But I want us to speak about this one that affects all of us. We're talking about how, how do you become a strong teacher of the word and become apostolic. Can we read this one together? One to go. Now, these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word and the curse of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things. Entering into the way and it becomes unfruitful chokes the word and becomes unfruitful. Can I show you something here? Most people in the church are in verse 18. Can you go to verse 18? You are sown among thorns. Look at your neighbor. You are sown among thorns. You are in church. You have heard the word. No fruit. Verse 19. Yeah, you could say mercy. Number one, the curse of this world. The curse of this world. Hey. Somebody says, I've just married. <laughs> the Before you got married, it was a big deal. Now you are married, you are wondering, did I marry the right person? Oh, it's a question everybody goes to. You are not the only one. I said you are not the only one. Did I marry the right person? The case of this world. People are not here because of the case of this world. Deceitfulness of riches. Huh? Deceitfulness of riches. New rich. Tell your neighbor, new rich. Somebody just got working, bought a car, bought a flat. They are busy. Wabi. They want money only at church. The case of for other things, the desire for other things. Choke the word. So the reason why you are not fruitful, you can't pray. 
the desire for other things. We will come back here. Let's go to first, first John chapter 2, 15 to 17. Do not love the world. Let's go to fast. Or the things in the world. Hey. Do not love the first people. First John chapter 2, 15. Sister Lisbeth. Just busy. Treasure. Can we read it together? One to go. Go. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hey, do not what? Yeah. Do not love the world. But we love it. The things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in the world. I know we don't want to share this. That's why I say if I look at this, the, the seed that fell by the bushy place is where most people in the church are. They are not fruitful. They are in church. They, they have a stock. They look like they are alive. But what's very difficult? They have debts. They have debts. They have loans. They have loans. If we can take capital, we have food. 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 I just brought a, I just bought a house. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? The deceitfulness of riches. Next verse, please. Ah, no, I want us to see ourselves. We're talking about building a strong. We will, we will come to prayer just now. Mm -hmm. all, all that is in the world, mm -hmm. the last of the flesh, mm -hmm. the last of what? Mm -hmm. The last of the flesh, you mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. You won't serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. no. Ah, wow, 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 wow. The last of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Mm -hmm. The last of the flesh, the last of the eye, the pride of life, is not of the Father. It's of the world. These are the testimonies we give in the church. Things that satisfy. Why, why most of us preach the kind of messages that is tingling to the ear? Can we go back to Mark chapter 4, 19? This is what our pastors are preaching. The case of this world. You'll we'll have houses. No, no. The Bible says you'll have houses. But it's the best of what the pastor is teaching. You don't get houses by waiting for them. I know you don't believe. That. The book of Matthew chapter 6. Where, what, where do we start? Now, come on. Verse 25. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life. Yo, it's too much. Hey. The way you're looking at me is like, my fifth rand is making me sleep. I'm told that the food was good. Mercy. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or what your body, uh, uh, no, about your body, what you will put on. It's not life more than li and more than food, and the body more than clothing. Hey. Look at the birds of the air. For they neither sow nor, nor reap. Nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more 
yellow than they. Which of you? The case of this world. The deceitfulness of riches. Which of you? By worrying. Can add one cubit to his stature. So why do you worry about clothing? I had a pastor who refused to come to a conference. He said, I cannot I don't have clothes. Every Sunday, I want new ones. It was during between Christmas. And New Year. He says everybody will be looking you. Ask my wife, it's true. She said, I will not come to the conference. I have no new clothes. Huh? Why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like like one of these. Hey! Now, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. Hey! Therefore, Let's read this together. One, two, three. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall I do? Shall we drink? For after all these things, maybe let's go back to that verse. Let's go back to it. So that Ntate Matupa and Mrs. Matupa can see. Can we read it together? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Hey. For, uh, for after all these things, the Gentiles. Are you a Gentile? Ask your neighbor, are you a Gentile? Yeah, after this thing, the non believer is seeking after them. Hmm? Non believers are doing what? Well. Yes. For well, after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you what? need all these things. Do you think God doesn't know that you need to be married? Hmm? 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 You know, sometimes we are better singing. It's true. need. I said. <laughs> I said, <laughs> you are better singing <laughs> than married. <laughs> but I know you don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, ask your aunt. <laughs> ask your aunt. She's still not married. <laughs> huh? She's still not? <laughs> hey. She's got three, four children. She has done all the gymnastics that you could do. And it has not worked. Huh? She's on husband number five. And the one that she has is not her own. It's not working. Huh? You see, we should interview people seriously. <laughs> we can start with the interpreter. <laughs> and say, uh, honeymoon guy. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> is there honey in the moon or <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, he will tell you these are <laughs> semantics. They just use words. <laughs> uh, they told me about the couple who went on honeymoon. The woman has not been married. For a number of years, she was a mature person. She went to honeymoon. So she looked forward to it. I think she was washing too much soapies. (laughs) 
She was watching what? Oh, well, well, that is so beautiful. So my sophist. She came back from honeymoon. Abu honeymoon. And wondering, wondering. <laughs> Is there something missing? Think, think about it this way. Here are two virgins. Two virgins. They are going on honeymoon. honeymoon. And all of them have been watching soaps. <laughs> eh? What do you think? <laughs> so the woman comes back and asks. <laughs> Is this all? Is this hard? <laughs> Is this hard mood? Like a honeymoon here. Overrated for nothing. <laughs> tell, tell the girl sitting next to you, you are watching too much movies. Well, this movie too much. Huh? <laughs> Tell, tell her, you are watching too much movies. Tell her, me movie too much. <laughs> oh, we are, we, are, we are serious. I'm preaching <laughs> serious. <laughs> Your enemy. The stronghold. Stronghold. For after all these things, the gentle <laughs> seed. For your heavenly father knows that, that you need all these things. things. Let's read the verse together. One to go. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. Seek first what? Yeah. Seek first what? And unfortunately we started wrong. But my very to me as a troubles. If already you have a house, what's in the cover? Listen, Chilling. if you are to take a loan and uh, buy a house on a loan, Alone. you will wish to be full time. But you can't. Hope you are fall. I'm just saying. I said to somebody, you want to serve the Lord? Forget about the house. You must tell this girl that house, house forget. House what? House what? House what? House forget about house. If you are thinking about house, forget. Yeah. I've been I've been in the ministry for 32 years. I said to somebody, build the house of God first. Yeah. Build what? Yeah. I teach everybody else. I say, if you can, pay off your house now. Pay off your house. Huh? Give free. Are you not free? You see, when you don't owe anybody anything, I can say anything I want to say. Oh, I can preach anything. I'm free. I'm free. I said I'm free. I said I'm free. I can preach whatever I like. As, as my nose is sharp, as I hear the spirit. But if you are not listening to me, your wife will tell you, I don't mind, you can serve God. That's why we can give us a house. Most people who have houses here do not serve the Lord. Mammon is a master. Mammon. It's all dead here. So even you will never understand. There's but something fishy. that you will never understand. Well, it's, it's, it's that God will meet your needs. I said, God, not in your time. 
It's not, it's not like, oh, I'm giving God six months. In six months. That's not true. It might happen. I, I tell the story about the building. That the Lord says, buy a, build, buy a roof for another church. It make, it's, an, it's insane. You are praying for a building. And God says, give the building somewhere. It's madness. That's why this, your, to grow your faith, you must learn to give. Because you grow in your giving. Yeah. You grow in your? Your level of sacrifice will make you to abandon everything. And then you have everything. But your house open is a trap. The trap. It's a demonic, mammonic design to slow you down. You, you must go. never serve the Lord. Well, there is a verse. Right. If you can find for me, Pastor Oms. The verse, the verse. The man. Moses says to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, we must for as them who's going to worship the Lord. Pharaoh says, and Moses says to Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Ourselves, our our wives, our children, and our livestock, and everything that we have must come with us. And guess what Pharaoh says? Over my dead body. He says, it's not going to happen. Hey. My fifth rand, I can see. I can see your fifth rand. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Did they find the verse for me? Exodus chapter 10. Exodus chapter 10. Verse 8. From verse 8. I'm saying it's a trap. It's a trap. You can't pray. Yeah. Long prayers. We'll get into it now. So Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh. And he said to them, go serve the Lord your God. That, this, is, this is the word of Satan to you. Go and serve the Lord your God. You are in church, but you are on the bushy place. There is no fruit on your stock. You have a very good excuse. I am working. I'm going to work. Like other people, since we don't have a night service, they can attend today. They'll only come tomorrow. Pharaoh says, go inside. Then he asked the question. Let's read the verse so that I say it's not I want to go. So Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh. And he said to them, go, serve the Lord your God. Who are the ones that are going? That's the question that Satan is asking. He doesn't want your children to follow you. Next verse, please. Can we read? Want to go? And Moses said, We will go with our young and our old, with our sons and our daughters, with our flocks and our herds. We will go, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. So, what does he want? No feast for the Lord. So, Mammon. Mammon. Ma. Yeah, then the next verse. Then he said to them, The Lord had better be with you. When I let you and your little ones go, beware, for evil is ahead of you. Yeah. Beware. For evil is ahead of you. Yeah, and they were driven away from Pharaoh's place. He was very annoyed. Sister, you want to be, get, to be married to a man of God? Hmm? Forget about the house. You want to be married to a man of God? Forget about the house. Hmm? Forget about what? About what? 
Maganda ba ba? Wala. Kanto. Maganda ba ba? Wala. Kanto. Maganda ba? You sleep with your children in one room. Or wala marwa ako kamre niya si. Oh, you don't like it. Awe rat. It's apostolos. Kaya apostolos. Nobody has what they have that came with a platter. Ako na liyan alas na alas so na sisi tuling ka plan. Imagine somebody. Nakulala lang mo. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you understand? Like this. What what is the cost of your life? Like in but la pribaga. Your life is like a vapor. O pribaga o bela ka mua. Your daddy appears for a moment. O jan la mo tsinya. Then from there. O tla fa. I think I need the sweet than water. This is hot. Eh ona le le dimone. Eh be dimo. Ya rera. I'm preachy. You like it or not? It's coming out. I said, if you are going to serve the Lord, forget. No house. No? No what? No house. We are held by the house. Do you know? Do you know what is the deception? What are you poor? A house can be built in six months. To twelve months. But you are stuck for twenty years. Okay, well now. Tell your neighbor. I thought you were intelligent. Oh my! They get a cano selfie. Hallelujah. Amen. You are stuck for? Well, no. Tell your neighbor. Marshall. I thought you are smart. Hmm? So, Pastor Mesh, you know what I, I told the pastors? I think I said, God has got Pastor Mesh on a fix. You see, anytime God promotes you, He's setting you up. He will force you to choose. So, the best advice is make sure you pay all your debts immediately. Because it's going to put you on a fix and say, Church, and if he goes full time now, you know what's going to happen? You won't be paid. Not even his time. Are we not talking apostolos? Are you not going to be the sent out one? I will throw out Rumilu. Immediately, immediately he got promotion. I said, I, know what I, promotion. Said, I spoke. I, I said it publicly. Didn't I say it? I said it publicly. Kable. I said God has set him up. Karamun set him up. I know. Yeah, I've been there. Immediately God promotes you seriously. I know what that was. Pay off your debts quickly. Yeah. Otherwise, we are going to miss the season and time. It will come and it will pass. It will not fade. Yeah, you look back and wish you can enter that window. When it is gone, you'll chase after it. Yeah, you'll chase. You'll wish. What I do? I was telling somebody. I said, when I came to them, you you ridiculed me. I'm in the ministry. You are not in the ministry. Yes. Now you want to come into the ministry. The spirit is not there. Because when the spirit was speaking, you didn't like it. What do you think? No, I'm not saying anybody should go full time. Please, leave me alone. It must be the spirit. It must be what? It must be what? Yes. Mammon. We can't serve two masters. We can't serve what? I was saying to somebody, downgrade now. I told the pastor, I said, now. I said, now. Downgrade. 
sell your house where you are now. Move to a smaller house somewhere. You want to serve the God? The God I know. He said, oh, you don't know God. Oh, you might not even have money to pay rent. Oh, you don't even have money to pay rent. What did Jesus say? Yes, what did <laughs> What did he say? Foxes has, have holes. The son of man has no place to put his head. When I left the UK, I when I left the UK, I was in the plane. This past conference. Conference And I put my hands, my head on my hands. And I said to the Lord, Is this my life? Is this my life? It's like, it's like your water that is poured out. Water that is what? Cold, juicy water that you wanted to drink. Then you trip and then you fall. And you can see even the last drop. Yeah. Do you understand what we are talking about? Oh, you don't like my message? Listen, I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating you. I'm saying we'll have a bowl here. We'll mix it. And call all of our reverence. You know the advice I was given? They say, give the best of what you have. Do what? Give the best of what you have. People don't want to give the best of what they have. That is why you don't have anything that is best. Hmm? Foxes have holes. And the son of man. Hey, Jesus. Yes, it says, follow me. If you want to follow me, carry your cross. Hey, we know what happened to the cross. What happened to the cross? If you want to follow me, carry your cross and follow me. Hey. Bishop says, if Jesus was married, the wife will come with the children like this. They say, oh, honey, honey, oh, honey, 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 you can't die now. Look at the babies. Look at the children. Oh, 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 who's going to take care of them? Oh. <laughs> so whenever you don't want to save, when I go thank you. I was laughing. I was laughing at this guy. I said, when I came to the ministry, there was nothing. Yeah. Now, we have made ministry look fashionable. Yeah? It looks easy. You are flat nose. You missed your season. Okay, let's, let's get into it. Prayer. Tapel. Prayer. Tapel. Listen, I'm not I'm not changing. I keep it I'm preaching my message. I was this was introduction. If you think I was preaching, now I'm preaching. Number one. I'm at home. You remember who 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 listened to my prayers on watches? It was only the pastors. It was private prayer. Okay. Let me give you five things then that are critical to be extremely apostolic. 
This is introduction, then we'll get into it. Number one, you have to pray with persistence. You don't pray with a feeling. Tell your neighbor, don't pray with a feeling. We don't pray with a feeling. Uh, nobody's talking. Let's stand. Be on your feet. Uh, no, it's too late. Be on your feet. teach. <laughs> Except those who are 65 and above. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, pray with persistence. Yeah. If you are going to make a, a difference. Hey, I've been praying. Hmm. You are best from prayer. I want to tell somebody. Make prayer a lifestyle. Continue in prayer. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Number 2. Waiting on God is not a delay. You are on time. Yes, you must take another week of prayer and fasting. This young boy said to me, Good Lord. I was asking, why didn't you go home? I'm waiting on God. Oh, I'm doing what? Come here, let them see you. Yeah, he said, I'm waiting on God. I said, I have a soldier here. Somebody out of personal initiative. I'm not going home. I am not going home. I want to wait on God. When you shall listen, my guinea, you are running for fat cake. Eh? I was asking him, we are going to Bloom Fonte. I was asking him, so he says, No, I, I'm hanging around. The way you use, I'm waiting on God. It's on crossroads. Mm. Yeah, we're passing in, in from Val. We're passing Val. Going, to, Val. Bloom, going to Bloomfontein. Yeah, Bloomfontein. Can I tell you something? It's those private meetings <laughs> with God <laughs> that makes a great difference. For your nose to stand, <laughs> for you to be able, <laughs> you see, to come to town. <laughs> Nobody told me to come to town. It's the Holy Spirit. Told me go to town. I arrived in town. Our church was downtown. Somewhere close to the taxi rank. The Holy Spirit told me go to a certain building. Where, where trading industry is. That's where our church was. They wanted so much money. A rent of 10,000. Those years. It was like 100,000. You got 100,000. And my elders, including my wife. You see, when you have, when you don't have a nose, when your nose is Egypt, Egypt stage, your nose has been hit by a hammer. The curse of this world. The deceitfulness, deceitfulness of riches. I said, it doesn't matter if you need this cancer. We are going to that building. I arrived at the building. They took me by hand. The estate agent was... Make a great mistake, but because I was a prayerful person, the angel took us by the hand. We met the landlord. When we met the landlord, the landlord said, Oh, you are a pastor. I said, Yes. He says, My father in law, who built that building that you want to rent, will be very happy. Even though it was not built for a church, he will be very happy that there is a church because he was a pastor himself. Then he asked a question. How much are you willing to pay? So you move from 10,000. How much are you willing to pay? So at the time, our tithe offering of everything was like 3,000. I said, oh, we can afford 3,000. She shook my hand in front of the stage. You should have seen the eyes of the stage. 3,000. So 7,000 7, fell, 7, fell off. fast. You get it? So we came. Right. We're in the building. Where are we? They came. They followed me. Yeah. They came. They 
Do you understand? Waiting on when, when we bought this building, the estate agent, state agent, the owner, I met the owner as well. And the estate, after the owner asked the same question, how much can you, how much can the church afford to buy the building? So I told him, and then we agreed. The estate agent, state agent, agent said to me, Aron, the building was yours. Even if you had zero. He says, he told me that the building is yours. But let me tell you the, the secret of the building being ours before we even take the money. Those who were the Reverend Mesh and others were doing 12-hour prayer. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, they, by treating we used to have a building there. We prayed. Day and night. Waiting on God. The house you want is not far. Yes. The car you want to drive is not far. The Bible we read. Verse 25 it says the, those of the world are seeking. Now, at this age, people already is learning to wait on God. We are talking superpower. This is a dynamo. Self generating energy never comes to an end. It's a bulldozer already. When he sees the difficulty, he knows there is a place I can go. There is a place called secret place of the Most High. Yes. Just I will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, You are my God. You are my fortress. Now, when you are a student, you don't want to wait on God. I mean, the schools were closed. We used to go home. He said, I'm not going home. I'm going to wait on God. I'm going to do what? Yeah, he, he, he's part of Pastor Michael's disciples. Pastor Michael. The members of Pastor Michael. Pastor Michael come. Members of Pastor Michael. What time do they live here? What time do you live? What time do you live? Let's not ask him. What time do you live? Standard twelve o'clock. Sta- standard twelve o'clock on standard. Sunday. Twelve o'clock. Come, come, Michael. Michael, come. Standard. They standard. live when? Standard twelve o'clock. Now, Sunday night. Now you can say God. God of partiality. I always say to people, God. Uh, God has no favorites. It's the children who make themselves favorite to their family. That's how I know it. There are children when you come home, they wait for you. There are children when they hear your car coming, they get into their bedroom, close the door, and behave like garbage. But there are children. I have one child who says, I've been waiting. I say, hey, you are waiting, right? Because compassion comes from the heaven. The king, the Bible says, the king says, why do you push it? Having waited at the gate all along, one day they say, you are prime minister. Can you imagine? In the morning, you are a pooper. You are my bro. The teacher, there's a guy in my we no longer hear anything about him. When he left premiership, That's what, okay. got a deal with DBS. I hope that the DBS. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. The guy, we don't hear him. Can you imagine? Pastor Michael. Pastor Michael. What time do you leave? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Elias will try. What do you do? Maybe we should ask the question. We pray. We pray. Yes, after church, after all the meetings in the church, we go to our space and we pray for the people that came to church that they should come back again. Amen. Did you hear? That the people who come to church, did I ask you to do that? Please? No, 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 no. You have not asked us to do that. Asked us to do it. Seriously? No, no, no. Can't make it. 
Oh, Pastor K is 80 says got two Pastor small babies. Okay, That's the benefit. Know. They've got two small babies. <laughs> yes, please. So, after we pray and then we do teachings, um, I'll be taking the books and I'll be teaching them from the book. We have a schedule that we follow every week. And we teach, we teach, we teach. And at the end of the teaching is also prayer based on the teachings we were doing. Prayer. Pray. Amen. Now, now. Is God loving others more? Have you been in love before? Huh? I don't think you have been in love before. When you are in love, you buy flowers. You buy cake. You buy chocolate. My wife, I buy KFC. Yeah, KFC, chicken, leg, anything meat. KFC, chicken, don't go Biltong, Biltong. Biltong. Ah. Now, now, yes. we're talking about prayer. Don't forget, we are, we are seriously teaching. Ruth. I'm, I'm even sweating. Will it shock you? If tomorrow. All these people are mega church. Pastors. Because they were trained well. I said, was it this past week? I said, in Acadia. Acadia. In five years. Because we have changed the church, isn't it? In five years. What kind of leadership are we going to have? If Michael is living at 12. <laughs> Formula One. Don't, don't forget, you win by margins. Did you hear what I said? The speed, the speed. You feel this thing is not going through. The speed. I must, I must just press it. Yeah. I saw, maybe you saw it. I saw a clip of a motorbike rider. This guy fell. His bike tumbled. The guy, I mean, the way he somersaulted when he was falling, I thought he has broken some limbs. Madness. The guy just jumped. Went for another bike. When I look at people like that, I see spiritual energy. Dimension. The guy is in higher. The energy in him says, I'm finishing what I started. He doesn't look at it as an excuse. I'm giving up now. Everybody can see. I tried my best. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I saw another clip. A young girl. I think he was trying to run a shoe came out or something. Went back. Picked up a shoe. I guess it is started running past everybody past, 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 and won the race when you on a lay this color you have a dead the lord want to promote you you, are John the, you have the anointing of John the Baptist. Well, now to say, John Jesus, they asked Jesus, we did yes, a camp on this. Jesus said, who yes, do people say that I am? And they said, some say you are John the Baptist. We didn't finish. Because we didn't go. He said, John the Baptist? And what? Elijah? And what? Jeremiah? Jeremiah? And some of the prophets. One of the prophets. So when you go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. It gives you, it gives you some of the great prophets that have lived. Jephthah. Jephthah. I mean, there's a lot of prophets there. John the Baptist. He had a very powerful gift. He's a, he's a, he's a desert priest. Where he is, people come. I said, where he is. People come. But what? I said where he is. Where he is. Where John the Baptist is. Where now you are riding the city. Even when you play music, nobody is coming. 
You chose the church according to the number where there are people. That's why I know your anointing has not grown. Your power, small power. I say, have the anointing of John the Baptist. It doesn't matter where you are. Yes. I said it doesn't matter. You stand in the desert. The floodgates will open. A story will be told. There is a prophet with a sharp nose. A prophet with what? A prophet. Please, uh, if you are new, sharp nose will mean you have discernment. You have just arrived, Bishop. Bishop. Don't, 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 don't say it. I know you have an African nose. No. <laughs> we, we are talking. We are talking about the ability to be prophetic, to discern, to understand what the Spirit is saying. If you don't spend time in prayer, if you don't spend time with the Holy Spirit, discernment won't come. What they are doing is what, what Samuel was doing. Samuel was always in church, so they are already telling God. We are waiting. Possibly their name is in that. The Lord. When now you say Lord. Not Kimberly Lord. Oh Lord. Let them transfer Pastor Mesh. Oh Lord. Let them transfer. About transfer. Pastor Basani. Oh, Shabalaba. Oh, Even it can pass this way, Lord. Discernment. Discernment. Imagine somebody. He's waiting on God. Samuel. Samuel. Where did he hear God? He was in church. He heard God. In church. Did you know? I believe. All of you are living for free. Your parents are paying. There is no reason for you to go and work. And and work for the Lord. Work for the Lord. Uh, hey, hey, it's a song. He goes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, all night long. When you I'm tired I'm from away. I must pay the bond. I told one guy, I told one guy. I said, You have a house. I have a house. You have a car. I have a car. I have a church. What is the song, by the way? That we're singing just now. when I see him. I'll be singing and dancing for the rest of eternity. Have it this way. Have it this way. I don't know if you grew in the village. I grew part of my life. I grew in the village. We have what we call calves. Dinamani. Certain time in the morning, they they have a tendency. When we sing the song, this song, I think about the spring box. You know, there's a free jump that they do. It's like, and I look at them and I say, they never toil no spin. And they are in their mode. They, they are really serving God. Mm. Let's sing the song. I'll be singing and dancing and for the rest of eternity. Pay in the bond. Will you be singing, dancing? We'll be singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity. I'll be my daddy. Your church is singing. We'll be singing and chanting and shouting for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy. Your church is singing. We'll be singing and chanting and shouting for the rest of eternity. Only you, only you. Only you, only you. 
I can hear Satan preaching in your head. You have your place in God. Some are called to finance the gospel. Some are called into business. Some are called into professions. But only you are God. If the profession the business, the whatever that we do, Christ is not the central focus. I met, I met uh, Dr. Mas Munro. And he made me to change how I do church. And he said, how much do you spend on God? How much do you spend on church? Yeah. That changed my life. That you can say whatever you say. That business people will say, Me, I finance the church. A worker will say, I finance the church. I finance the work of the ministry. But if you were to look at the percentage they are spending, you can see where their heart is. This is why I need to qualify. The Bible says, Where your heart is. There your treasure will be. So for all my old members, we are what we are. We are fire instigators. We are lighters. We are the base that shoots out the arrows. Do you understand? God has given us strength. But we will shoot this young man and young woman to the stars. Am I to somebody? We are preparing the church for a future we will not see. For a generation we will not see. But we'll be harvesting again and again and again and again. While we are in heaven, what looked like a waste, it will be so powerful that the whole of heaven will look and say, what you did is amazing. Look back. I told you I saw a vision. The Lord made me to look back a thousand years after. He said, Grow the people. It will be like flames of fire. Everywhere. It looks small. I've said to you, You are giving. Look small. But don't be deceived. The Bible says, The master seed is the smallest of man's seeds. But when it is sown, it grows. It becomes big. It's mighty among trees. You might look at yourself and say, is there something great? In your faithfulness, in the little that you do, you have become more effective and in the abler of God. You are empowering. You are bringing change. You are bringing transformation. You are bringing renewal. Stand your ground. Do your bit. I said, do your bit. I said, do your bit. And you'll be shocked. I gave an example about Sister Ken. The example of Pastor Umpi. And all of I am Pastor. It's like a waste of time when you are in children's church. Waste. 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 Until one day you look back that you're waiting on God to develop the desire. Yeah. You are now, you have become a permanent container of His presence. They tell us stories about our fathers in the Lord. 
that when Catherine Kuhlman entered the city, people will start crying. Everywhere. Everywhere. The anointing will be everywhere. The city will feel like Christmas. Christmas. The whole city gets everybody. The bus, everybody. The bus come out. They want to come. Do you understand? Billy Graham went to England. Billy Graham went to England. There's no miracle that that has happened like that. He's the only person who have lived. Who have lived. Who have lived. The whole of England, England was listening to him. Every building, any building that people could meet. He was preaching in London. The people put speakers and played the radio because all the radio stations, they gave him free time. Because everybody wanted to listen to him. What anointing? What power? Do you understand? For about a month, every day, the whole pub flows. Nightlife flows. Because there was somebody who said, only you. Only you are God. Only you are God. Till we meet. Now, waiting on God is the key ingredient to being a great teacher. To be sensitive to what the Spirit is saying. To teach what the Spirit wants you to teach. Not to do what you want. My daddy, my daddy, you can take your seat, please. Your baby is singing. We'll be singing and dancing and the rest of eternity. Okay, let me finish because those who own the church will say next time you will not preach. Huh? You know, I got a message. The pastor, one pastor was very angry that we don't have an evening service. He says it's gross. Root is gross. No evening service on Friday. We are starting a new culture. Yeah. It's our life and it's our church. We refuse to serve mammon. Our self, our children, and our money. We are going to serve God. Number three. Pray with passion. Be persistent until you are passionate. Yeah, you pray. 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 So if I start praying and the spirit comes, ah, uh, you better start joining. Because I'm not going to be quiet because you are in the house. You better get your house. Imagine somebody. Number four, pray. Prayer takes tenacity. You must be tenacious. It's a big word, Pastor. Pray with thanksgiving. Oh, I didn't give you scriptures. Uh, pray takes tenacity. Uh, Daniel 10 13. Daniel 10 13. Number five, pray with thanksgiving. Colossians 3 17. Colossians 3 17. Pray making intercession. Pray for one another. Luke 22 31. Luke 22 31. Prayer forces us to wait. Patience. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Prayer opens your spiritual eyes. Number Chapel 8. 2 Kings 6, 15 to 17. 2 Kings 15, 16 to 17. Prayer aligns Chapel your heart with the heart of God. So I'll say adjust yourself. Hey. So I'm going to give you, that's when my message starts now. Hey. I've got about 10 points. Number one. It's a, I taught this to the leaders. Ekdo is to wait. Just, just write wait. Waiting in anticipation. 
Waiting in hope. John 5, 3 to 4. John 5, 3 to 4. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember the men at the, at the well of Bethesda. Yeah. Waiting. You wait. You wait. You wait. You wait. Wait for your turn. You wait. You wait. You wait. Hey. I was saying to somebody, when we sing in this well, we sing songs for it. We dance. People have spoken, this church will close. I heard some of my leaders say, hey. hey, somebody called. And said, we heard what Greg We heard what Greg is saying. This and this are listening. Hey. Hey. I said, Satan. Satan. You want to provoke me to righteousness. <laughs> And then I, I established, I, I said, before they came, the church was. And after they've left, the they church, church will be. Only you, only you. Only you, only you. Number two. Number two. To wait, expecting eagerly. eagerly. He says, says to wait, wait, waiting in anticipation. Oh, this is English. This is anticipation. Hey. And expecting eagerly are two different things. Yeah. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. The Bible says the whole creation waits eagerly, longing for the revelation of the sons of God. Waiting expectantly. Yeah. All these mothers who are waiting is a process. The process. Nine months. Hey. Hey. Nine months. When you have a, a child with long legs, kicks the diaphragm, kicks, he just decide, <coughs> Mr. Bruce Lee, <coughs> Bruce Lee. <laughs> the baby doesn't know that the mother is feeling pain. He feels like I'm stretching. Hey, hey. Do you understand? Like we should... huh? mm. Waiting eagerly. Oh, yeah. You pray. You pray. Romans 8.23. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9.28. Hebrews 9.28. The Bible says, So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of, of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time. Number three. Wait while you are looking for, in view to favorable reception. Yeah. I know a man who proposed the sister. The sister said no. He came again. He went to pray. Hey, these girls, difficult. You are not my type. I see type. The brother prayed. The sister said no. He went again. Hey, I think he was Elijah. Looking at the small cloud. Even this one is better. I look out. The other one. Omu. The brother. Wood. Proposed the sister. I proposed that sister. And the sister said, not my type. Sister, I said, type yeah. Nonsense. I went, I... Get away. Tamai. Then they left each other. He but never saw the sister for 10 years. years. And they meet here in the city. Yeah, in Victoria. Ha. Ow. It's you. When? Yes. Hey. I said, are you married? Can you imagine? You have not seen a person for 10 years. I said, are you married? Are you the girl says, I was ashamed. He says, I'm, are, I'm, I'm marrying you. I'm giving you a letter. Go and tell your parents. I don't need proposal. I, I propose you 10 years ago. If you are not married, you have, you have you have tried all the boys. It does not work. You are mine. I'm paying the ball. Finish and clap. That was it. What more is there to discuss? One of my sons suffered a lot in the church. He proposed the first sister. I proposed the sister. The sister said no. The sister said no. So the brother was hurt. Brother, so he started to pray. He saw Sister B. I wanna say C B. Hey, sister A. Say C A. Told Sister B. Who would you say C B? That A. Or A. So Sister B was C B. Foolish. 
said to the brother, Am I, uh, what did you say? Am I the second option? second option. What is the other way they use? Huh? Am I am I your rebound? rebound No. I'm not going to be a rebound of A. So he went to number three. Sister C. Sister C. Hi, sister. Hello. Sister C, I, I know your style. <laughs> you come from A. B. B. Now you are making me C. Move on. Adios, muchachos. Adios. 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 My, my son found a bride, a nice bride. A darling. A darling. A darling. A darling. Yeah. He gave my son comfort. Hey. And my, my son is comforted. I wonder if the sister is married. Yes. Waiting in view of favorable conditions. You cannot be prophetic. You cannot have discernment. This is why you will end up using Maslamish. Because you are not spiritual. Hey, there's no amen in Akedia. Hallelujah. Mark 15:43. Hallelujah. Amen. Waiting for in view of favorable reception. Luke 2.25. Luke 2.25. Hey. Hey. Can you imagine? You are waiting. Yeah. I'm standing like this on the gate every oh, yeah. day. Waiting every day. And you don't get tired. How When you see them, oh, my boy. start running again. Tomorrow. Happy again. What are you? Imagine somebody. Yeah. Waiting in anticipation oh, yeah. to serve. What are you? Waiting while watching to protect but and to keep. You are deep, serious, and intense in watching. Marvin, where is Marvin? I saw Marvin. Marvin. You pray. Warapela. You pray. Warapela. Deep prayers. Serious. Intense. While you are waiting. Mm. Throughout the night. You are changing things in the spirit. My ministry will not miscarry. I will not be micromanaged. My job, my phone, my loans, my... But I mean, the young people don't get it when I say avoid at all costs. Go and serve the Lord. Yeah. Mm. Because immediately you put, Michael, you put your, your mind on a house. Forget it. Means it's finished. You'll join the club. Of small club. Slow motion. You will know, come out of Formula One. Pastor, don't give us all Formula One. Pastor, oh, uh, Pastor, uh, Formula One. Pastor, what's the mass again? Sianda. Pastor Sianda. He was here. Oh, I left her. Come and check his wife. What now? Check him for the other. And you know what he said? Later, link. I've got other sheep. In a link, which are you? Say, I'm leaving. At the ACP. I'm going to Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town. There's, there's more at stake. On a late change. She has already conquered their wife. What for? She has fainted. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? He has crippled her. He's done with it. Done, 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 done. He has achieved. He has done a good job. The church is growing in all sides. You get it? Yes. And then what's happening? Now, He's busy. He's busy. First lane. Why God? Oh, you come to church and nobody's there. Yeah. After you have prayed. One of the things that used to happen, we we'll take, every time we took three days of prayer, you come to church, you make altar call, call for salvation. No hand, no one gets born again. You pray for people, nobody falls down. No. 
no manifestation. Hey, after prayer, I thought I'm more powerful now. I'm more powerful now. <laughs> Waiting in, in patience. This thing is cooking. It's working. Yeah. Marvin. Marvin. Stay at night. You pray until when you, when you want to sit, your eyes must be red. For days on end, you must you must take your body and tell it. We are doing all night prayers. All night prayer. You come home, you do whatever you sleep. Eight o'clock, you sleep. Nine. Nine. Ten. You set the alarm. Set the alarm. By 11, Ten. By 11, Ten. I, wake Ten. I wake up. Ten. I'm praying. Ten. I pray until I go to work. Ten. Of 12 o'clock, I wake up. Ten. If I am up, I'm up. Ten. If I'm up, I'm up. Ten. 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 They woke up at two. Mm. 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 I asked them, what time did you sleep? Yeah, what time? Mm. You must sleep like an owl. You know owl. Mm. You know an owl. Mm. If you watch it, Only it sleeps like this. You know what I said? Oh, you have never seen it. I'm telling you the truth. You must. Mm. 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 Now it will go like. Mm. 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 So, in other words. Come on, you don't on. have a proper sleeping time. Yeah, no, no, no. Come on, let's go. You sleep when you sleep. Let's go. One hour. One hour. Two hours. Two hours. Five hours. Five hours. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I see you don't like it. Yeah, but I like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, loving Amen. without. This is Amen. number two of of three. Number two. Loving without holding. Yeah. Yeah. You are in love with Jesus. Yeah. Giving without reservation. Re, res, re, yeah. You must be a true lover. When I was at Obalan. You must feel him, but I did yesterday. You have not started. You are new in the lab. Game. When you love, you are eaten. Why will fail? Why will fail? Everybody have a Ujin. Your mind is not working. I, I, told, I told one woman, I said, Give the guy children. Can, can, can you tell your woman next to you if, if she's married? Give the guy children. Yes. Give the guy, yeah, tell this one. Give the guy children. <laughs> yes. Most women don't know. The men Men must become your slave. Yes. 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 What makes him to wake up? Should be his children. Oh, you don't believe it. Huh? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let's continue. We want to finish. We are talking about your prayer. Yearning and the deep desire to connect with the Lord. Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while he may be found. There's going to be a time. You look for him. You will be like his father. I can see you. 
Como cria Jesus? Ao tuar. Pam Jesus é assim. Your friends will tell tales. When they talk about the men, the women of God, they will talk about you. Yeah. Oh, they will talk about you. Yeah, they will talk about you. Yeah. Signs and wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Have a deep yearning. When everybody arrives, when everyone is sleepy, your heart wake up. Oh, Tell you no. Get out of your bedroom. Leave the person in yeah, their exactly. bed. Go outside. Yes. And you stay there. Until you are saturated. Yeah. Then you come back. But when you are not doing it, I was saying to the pastors, you must learn to do all night prayer by yourself. You must learn to do all night prayer you must what, pray with the clock. You look at the watch. I think you want to be a powerful teacher. I was telling somebody, I said, you are a teacher. But you have no people. Because you have a flat clothes. Your teaching are not confusing. Nobody wants to be what you are teaching. Yeah. Mm. So I said, stay there. Grow the sensitivity of your spirit. Teach what the spirit is. Teach. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Are you, are you still here? We are talking about waiting. Hey. The other word is the word anameno. Waiting with patience. Expecting the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Waiting. Waiting. Yes. Oh, I verse. Hebrews. Hebrews. Chapter 19.8. That's our verse. That's our found this scripture. Hebrews chapter 9, 28. Let's hear what it says. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. But as a man of Christian church, we are waiting. To those who eagerly wait for him. It's here. I don't know if pastors they know. It's here. Oh, you didn't know I'm not there. studying it. I'm not studying it. It's here. Waiting. Eagerly. For him. To appear the second time. Apart from sin. For salvation. Think about think about eternity. Yeah, think about it. Your life is like a flick of a fire. Yeah. One day you'll appear before him. Yeah. And, and you will say, I was an engineer. By the way, what do you do? You are a scientist. What do you do? Left. Left. Analytical analyst. Analytical analyst. You see, what confused? Analytical analyst. Yeah? Yeah, it's a wet salad. <laughs> Analytical analyst. Pastor Umpile. Yay! Jesus will be asking. Yes, what about Jesus? No, we're going to have him ready. It's power. 
goes to the stomach. We were teaching in the church that every time you pray, you must quote the scripture. So one of my children is very humorous, like making jokes. So he starts praying for the food. He says, we thank you, Father. And then she wanted to put a verse. He says, thank you, Father. That both the food and the stomach you will destroy. Now, that's what we are working for. It doesn't matter how long you are working. I see you as a pastor. Think about it. Think about it. You have a congregation that have been waiting for years for the Gaelic spirit to come. Huh? Somebody was saying, you know, I'm a doctor. I'm already in the ministry. I'm helping the people. I said, I like your doctorate. Then I'm a doctor as well. I'm helping the people. The motive is different. Mm. But you can't decide, Dr. Pillai. To go to Zimbabwe, Dr. Sleep. And become a doctor, pastor. In the most poorest of the hospitals. Building altars for God. A pastor with a, a doctor with a mission. Do you understand? No, you're still doing medicine. You will have a place to sleep. I'm, I'm definitely sure you will have a place to sleep. You don't like my message. Huh? 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 Think, think about the generations that are in you. Uh, that are on your spiritual noise. That cannot be released. Communities. That are locked in darkness. Until you come. Until you are appearing. We, we are trying to preach, but they can't hear us. But your voice they will hear. But you are saying, Apostolos. Apostolos. Uh, the book of uh, Genesis 12. Genesis 12. Verse 2. The mouth way. What does it say? Nere. I will make your name great. I will make you a great nation. Do you believe God? Now do you believe I say, do you believe God, Pastor Pulani? I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. Think about Abraham. I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse him who curses you. In you, all families of the earth when shall be blessed. Hey, you are an apostle. apostle. You are a messenger. When I'm but if we go down, the Bible, when God has sent him, he said there was drought. There was what? The only person who breaks the drought is Isaac. Isaac. Abraham goes Abraham. to Egypt. Isaac. Isaac. No. no. I'm not going. Okay. I am not going. Okay. The Holy Spirit said, stay put. Tell, tell your neighbor, stay put. Stay here until you die. Yeah. This is what I tried to say. Let me close and say, we are not done. We can't be done. Um, the revelation I had when I was at the camp with the Evoke group. The Holy Spirit said to me, have you ever thought 
You will have people who will come to your meeting preaching to them and being happy that they are there. Have you ever thought that when you lifted your hand behind this hand that you lifted there were these multitudes and if you look at them they have the same potential even greater. So in other words there are nations here just by lifting if, in your, if your nose is not flat if, if, if you are led by the spirit if you are a spiritual person if you are led by the spirit your hand is, was up there was a nation in you there was a nation there is the world children have already chosen it looks like a joke when they were choosing where they are going Somebody says, I'm going to Brazil. I'm going to this. It looks like it's a large place. Can you imagine the day you die and you are in a foreign country and there is a, a holiday? Mm. They say our men of God. The nation must come to a stop. We can't function without it. We are taking a time of mourning for a soul king. But he built us. When you are not willing to do it, you are taken by what you have. By bread. Really. So when I saw that, I realized that there is potential in everyone. That my lifting of hand was not a waste. Even though people have said I wasted my life. But think about it. I say think about it. Let's stand. Washington, can you come? Washington, can you come? We'll be singing and dancing. The rest of eternity. Your church is singing. We're going to pray. The smallest call is our communities where we are. Yeah. Mm. Currently, are a shepherd. It looks small. Paul said uh, to Titus, I'm leaving you in Crete that you may set things in order. It looks small. Umpile, I'm leaving you in Bloemfontein to set things in order. It looks very small. It looks insignificant. Somebody will say, don't you have a line? Can't you do something better? What they can see it's not far. They have no nose. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you. I want us to pray that God will pour the spirit of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot say unless you will sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you here? Now we're going to Lord, 
Raba kabayan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa Raba baba la raba sa kabayan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa Le rebe yan de rosh le bosa ne le be yan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa Raba baba baba la raba sa kabayan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa na la bayan de rosh le bosa Raba kabayan de rosh le bosa kabayan de rosh le bosa we thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If you want to respond to the Lord, come. Eat. You want to respond to God's calling upon your life. Come to the altar. Let's pray. My life I lay down that I'll be able to take it. Rabba Balabo, second, the Rachel Ebola. 
Raba Baba La Rabu Seke Le Bosa Kababa Raba Baba Seke Le Bosa Kabaye Raba Baba La Raba Baba La Raba La Raba Sa Kabaye Le Rebe Yandi Rocho Le Bosa Kabayande Recho Le Bosa Oh we worship you Jesus Le Rebe Kiyano Bosa Kabaye Le Rebe Yandi Rocho Le Bosa Kabaye Raba Baba La Raba La Raba Seke Le Rebe Yandi Rocho Le Bosa Kiyano Bosa Hey It's a Bakende Le Rebe Bosa La Raba Bosa Kele Bosa Lere be se ki ala bosa kabaya, raba ki ele bosa ki ala bosa. Father, we worship you. We exalt your name. Lere be se ki ala bosa kabaya, la ra bosa kabaya. Lere be ando rocho le bosa kabaya, raba ko yende rocho le bosa ki ana. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, Jesus. No ra bosa kabaya la bosa. Raba baba la rabo sekele. Oh, oh, rabo sakabaya do rocho le bo sakabaya. Rabo sakabaya. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you, Allah, bless you. Rabba, Kaba, Yende, Recho, Le Bossa, Kaba, Ya. Le Rebe, Kele, Bossa, Kele, Bossa. La Rabba, Se, Ki, Allah, Bossa. Le Rebe, Ki, Allah, Bossa, Ki, Allah, Ba. La Rabba, Se, Ki, Allah, Bossa, Kaba, Ya. Oh, Rabba, Se, Kele, Bossa. Le Rebe, Ando, Recho, Le Bossa, Kaba, Ya. Le Rebe, Ando, Recho, Le Bossa, Kaba, Ya. Rabasa Kabayanda Racho Lebosa O Rabasa Kabayeli Lerebe Ando Rocho Lebosa Lerebe Ando Rocho Lebosa Raba Ba 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 La Rabasa Kabaye Lerebe Ando Rocho Lebosa Kabayanda Recho Lebosa Lerebosa Kiyala Bosa Ba 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 La Rabasa Kabayosa In the name of Jesus no rebosse ki ala bosa, raba ba la raba se ke le bosa, la raba sa kabaye de, le rebe ando rocho le bosa kabaya, raba ba 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 ba, no rebosse le anda, le rebe ando rocho le bosa, la raba se ke le recho le bosa, only you, only you, only you. Only you, my God. 
Only you. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No rabasa kabaya la bosa. La rabose ki ala bosa. No rebose ki ala basa. Le rebe andoroche le bosa kabaya. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lo rebose ke le bosa. Lo rabasa kabaye le bosa. Le rebe andor che le bosa. La rabose ke ala bosa. Lo rebose ke andor che le bosa. La rabose ke ala bosa. Le rebe andor che le bosa. La rabose le ala. You will see on the throne. You will see on the throne. You will see on the throne. Only you. Only you. Only you. You will see on the throne. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Only you. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 No rebose ki ala bosa. La rabasa kabaya. Le rebe andorosho le bosa. La rabasa kabaya na. I'm entering ministry. I'm entering ministry. Lord of us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll pray for the fire. The fire of the Spirit. Even now in the name of Jesus. Grace, wisdom, power. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give a praise. Oh, power, no grace. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. In the name of Jesus. Only you, 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 we are going to, maybe you are here today. You have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because it be draws for us to leave you. The Bible says what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul. I want to pray together with you. If you say, I want to receive Jesus, I want to be born again, I want to be a child of God, please come here in front. 
come in the front. I want to receive Jesus. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. I want to make right with God. Come. 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 Don't be intimidated. It's your turn. It's your opportunity. I want to receive Jesus. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. There's somebody else. There's somebody else. I'm waiting on you. Amen. Amen. Okay, please do take your seat. We're going to take our offering. Then I'll hand over the mic to whomsoever. Isn't that the Mashaba? It's you. Hallelujah. Can we come as we receive our offering? Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive this offering with thanksgiving. We worship your Father that we have an understanding that it takes tokens and sacrifices to enter levels and powers of the Spirit. I pray we give because we love the work of the ministry and we give you for you promised you will bless us. We thank you, Father, for this grace in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Please navigate your way around the people here. Don't disturb them. Can we come as we bless the Lord? We have the swipe machines at the back. We have the QR codes, the bank accounts, and the point of sale. Please use them. I will never be the same. Touch your grace, my life has changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace, my life has changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace, my life has changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace.
Bless my Let her sing that song, God. Yes. Let's, let's have the song. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You know it's our church. When we finish, we will sing. Hallelujah. Please take your seat, those who are not in front. Otherwise, you are a suspect. Amen. Let's bow our heads together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise. What a joy, what a blessing to be in the house of God. Father, we celebrate the Apostolic Thanksgiving Conference. We thank you, Lord, that you have called us, that we, Lord, we may go out. I lift up this, your people, Father, we have come, lifting up their tithes. Father, you said to your word, here on earth, mortal men, men who die receive tithes, but there in heaven it is the Lord who receives it. Father, I pray that may this be a sweet-smelling aroma. As you spoke in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 4, that your prayers and your offerings have become a memorial before God. Father, I pray, may these tithes and offerings speak for us. May they buffet the enemy in the name of Jesus. May they disable the power and the plan of the evil one in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your purposes will be established. That the work of their hands are blessed. That, Father, they are growing into higher levels of wealth, increase, and abundance. We thank you, Father, as we commit them into your hands. We lift up the offerings. You said, Lord, you wait with the same measure that we use. It will be measured back to us. Bless the church. Bless your people. Bless us, O oh Father. Lift up the names of your people. That, Father, they may return. Your word says, Father, they shall return rejoicing. I pray even today that may you increase that which is within their hands. Even now, in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give a powerful clap offer as we pay our tithes. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name, you are released. Pastor B.